Many powerful people, many rich people, are not accountable to anybody. You know why? They think they're above the law. Well, the Bible is telling us there's no such thing. Because one day, notice the grammar. Everybody read one more time. One day, everybody read, we must all, you and me, all, appear before the judgment seat of Christ. That's why you have the word bima. It's an elevated platform which the Roman emperor and the Roman judge will stand high, up. But the point is this. Everybody read, each one may be recompensed. My wife loved this word, recompense. Each one. You know the word recompense means what? To be reimbursed. God will reimburse you. You see, sometimes we are discouraged because people don't recognize you. You are so faithful in church ministry, but people don't even thank you. They don't even realize it is you. But Paul is saying, it's okay. Because God, Jesus, is going to be the one to recompense me. You see that word? Recompense for his deeds in the body. Now, some of you may be confused. Peter, I thought salvation is grace, it's free. You are now talking about judgment. Well, let me sh show you a chart. So you will understand the difference between salvation and rewards. Salvation is by grace. Rewards is by works. Salvation is a free gift. It's paid for by Jesus. What Christ did for you on the cross. You cannot earn salvation. It's given by grace. Your part is to believe. Accept it. Rewards is earned by what you do with your life. Reward is what we do for Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. Salvation is what Christ did for us. You cannot earn salvation. But can you earn rewards? Yes. These are not the same. Salvation is now. You are saved now and for all eternity. Rewards are future. Salvation is the same for everybody in Christ. If you are in Jesus, you are all saved. However, Rewards are different. Not all believers will have the same rewards. And that's where most Christians don't understand. Let me give you an example of some verses. In Matthew chapter 25, all right, here's the story of Jesus. On judgment day, according to Jesus, his master said to him, Well done, good and faithful slave. You were faithful with a few things. I will not put you in charge of many things. See, that's the reward. Faithful now, whoever you are, you are, you be faithful now, and Jesus tells us, I'll put you in charge of many things. Look at the next verse. In Luke, the first appeared saying, Master, your mina has made ten minas. Mina is a sum of money. It's a lot of money. And he said to him, Well done, good slave. You have been faithful in a very little you are to be in authority over ten cities. The second came. Your mina master has made five minas. And the master said, you are to be over five cities. Do you see what the Bible is saying? Rewards are different. For the Apostle Paul, I don't lose heart. Because I am accountable to God and God it made himself accountable to us. Do you know God does not have, Jesus does not have to reward us? But he made himself accountable. Jesus is saying, you know what? I will not forget your good works. In Tagalog, Jesus is saying, Ako bahala sa iyo. He does not have to reward me. He died for me. But he said, no, no. Ako bahala sa iyo. Just be faithful. My friend, are you willing to walk from here to Baguio when it's raining? Just walk, no riding. Are you willing to walk from here to Baguio? How many of you are willing to walk from here to Baguio? Just walk. Raise your hand. You know why you are not? Because you are normal people. Now, how many of you are willing to walk even when it's raining or when it's hot? If somebody offered you One million peso. You know, how many of you are willing to walk? 
Saya yok ulang pelajaran. Alright, what about what about one million dollars? Raise your hand. Suddenly, you have the energy. Why? Because for you, it's one million dollars. What about if Bill Gates will say, "I'll give you one hundred million dollars"? Are you willing to walk? You walk from here to the city hall, and the mayor will have the money ready, and you are sure it will happen. Are you willing to walk? You see, perspective, accountability. You know, God tells us, whatever you do now, you will be rewarded. If you say no to sin, God knows. If you say no to graft and corruption, God knows. What is your perspective in life? Myopic? Just now? I, I just look at life now? Or do you see the big picture? 